Now, this week's Excel teacher truly understands some of her students' struggles. She was once that kid, and she says being an open book is key to their success. Now we introduce you to Southwest ISD's Excel winner. As a teacher, I, I make them understand where they come from and accept their culture and know that, okay, it's going to take a while to learn the English and I'm going to get you there. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get you there. Whatever it takes could very well be the title to Brenda Trejo's autobiography. The fourth grade reading and dual language teacher has overcome a lot of challenges since first coming to the United States as a child. Having that language barrier when I first came to the United States. Trejo conquered the language barrier with the support of her second grade teacher. Ms. Gutierrez, she was my second grade teacher and she just really invested that time in me that I needed to, I guess, blossom. It is a privilege and an honor for me to have been um, Brenda's uh, teacher. That encouragement sparked a passion for learning. Her involvement in Sky Harbor and what she does uh, for her kids uh, inside the classroom, but more importantly, uh, helping them prepare for life uh, has just been phenomenal. She doesn't teach to only, you know, one style of students. She's very diverse in what she does. She's able to reach all, and that includes the adults. She's always ready to put others first, but this day was all about her. <laughs> the day to honor her as our Ken's Five Credit Human Excel Award winner for Southwest ISD. As a small token of our appreciation, uh, we have a, a check for you for $1,000. Thank you. The students know that her investment is 100% in them. They have that safety net when they come to school and they're there with her. And so they're giving their 110% because their teacher gives 110% as well. Trejo has given them that for 15 years, knowing sometimes being a teacher means being an open book to the ones who need her the most. But being like a mother to them, being a, a guidance counselor, uh, a nurse, a cheerleader, all of that, right? So that we're able to encourage and motivate them. Doing whatever it takes to help them find their passion as she does whatever it takes to live hers. I have so much to still do, but uh, it makes me feel uh, proud, of, proud of them for sure. And pride in myself as well, because I know that I'm, I'm making a difference in their lives. When they do that, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm here. I'm in the right place. This is my, my calling. So I know I'm making that difference. And congratulations again to Ms. Trejo. She also received $1,000 with that award. Remember, we visit 19 school districts. Next up, it may be your school and your teacher. Also, a big thanks to my friend Stacia Wilson, who helped hand out the award this past week. Did a fabulous job. That was